Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the Cable Show 2011 here in Chicago. This is the Entropic booth and this is the Jethead development side of the demonstration system. We've got uh, really two Mocha networks here. We've got one on the left, which is representing um, one home, one on the right, a uh, second home. Now, the, the basic demo here is to contrast the difference between a cable head end based Rui server and a in home PVR based Rui server. So, on the left, we have a laptop representing the head end. The laptop contains a delay element, which I believe is currently set to 100 milliseconds, and uh, that represents the network delay from the head end to the consumer's client set top box. We have two client set top boxes you see there, one on the left, one on the right, and uh, the one on the right is being displayed on the t big TV on the left right now. On the right hand side, we have a PVR box and a single client connected to the TV. So we'll pull in and look at the equipment. So here's the cable head end. We have a cloud based RView server. And we have a network latency simulator, which currently, if you can see that, has set a network delay to 100 milliseconds. We then have a Mocha dongle connecting to a Mocha cable, and then the Mocha comes out in the home next to the, the client set-top boxes. Uh, another dongle there connecting to a Sigma reference design running the Jethead RView client. And the standard definition output of that is on this TV here. So here is the... Uh, Rui graphics output from one of the servers running in the head end. In fact, there are two servers running in the head end simultaneously. Here we have some high def graphics images cached on the client, and the RView protocol is sending commands from the head end to the client set top box to tell the client set top box how to manipulate these images within the client to create this uh, nice smooth animation that you see in front of you. So this is an example of using the RView protocol to do some sophisticated, uh, essentially 2D, although this looks a little 3D-ish, animations on the client set-top boxes, whether on the clients, I should say, whether the clients are embedded TVs or thin client set-top boxes or tablets. Uh, it wouldn't make any difference. The, uh, the display would look identical because of the pixel accuracy of the RView protocol. So that's one set-top box. Second set-top box here is a, an early reference design, which of course contains the uh, Entropic Mocha chip on the motherboard, and uh, therefore the coax cable is connected directly into the set-top box. So this is running a second remote user interface from the, uh, from the head end server, and we'll show this on the big screen uh, shortly. So then, as we move over to the second part side of the demo, you see a server box on the right hand side and a client box on the left hand side. In this particular case it's a Technicolor um, set-top box, PBR set-top box running Linux with the Jethead RView test server running on the, in the Linux environment. Uh, it's running on the Intel Groveland platform. Um, the particular box here didn't have Mocha inside so we've connected Ethernet to a Mocha dongle here uh, that converts the Ethernet to Mocha, and Mocha goes in around the home and eventually pops out somewhere else in the home at the client set-top box, and in this case goes directly into the client. So uh, there you go. I'll pick up the remote control, and we'll take a quick look at the demonstration. So what we're really doing here is contrasting the performance of the uh, head-end RView system versus the in-home RView system. So first I'll pull up the guide. And you'll notice because of the network latency, the, um, the performance on the right hand side is better. The graphics comes up quicker from the server. Uh, I guess typically we've got just a few milliseconds delay from the client to server in the, on the right hand side. But on the left hand side, we've got uh, 100 milliseconds of delay. Then I can scroll. I can do a simulated guide scroll. And again, you see that the performance on the right is definitely better than the performance on the left. If I queue up a few scrolls, you'll see there's quite a significant difference. Even though the clients are uh, exactly the same, and in fact the head-end server is probably more powerful than the, uh, the in-home server. Get rid of the guide. Um, 
All the graphics that you see on the screen is done using the Avio protocol. It's pixel accurate bitmap graphics and it's generated by the server, each respective server, and sent to the client as a bitmap to be displayed by the client. So I can pull up a, a banner here. I can do some channel changes. The, banner, the next banner comes up for the next stream. It just gives a few details on the stream. The channel change time is actually quite quick. The system's pretty robust. And now I can do some trick modes. So we'll do a little fast forward. That's the first speed. That's the second speed. And that's the third speed. Um, play again. Oh, we'll do rewind. One speed. That's uh, 18x reverse. And then finally 30x reverse. And I believe we're back to the beginning of the stream. So I'll hit play. Do another channel change. Okay. Um, the only the other thing I've got in the demo here is we can send 10 full screen graphic images from the server. In, in this case, they're 720 by 480. Uh, so standard definition uh, resolution at 32 bits per pixel and I'll send 10 of them uh, one after the other from the server and you see there in this case the in-home server beats the head-end server again in terms of sending its data um, so that's a little bit of a simulation of head-end RUI versus in-home RUI and thank you for watching. We hope you come talk to Jethead Development about not only your RView thin client software needs, but any other thin client software needs you might have. Thank you.